Please welcome to the show, Ja'Kalen Carr. Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> How are you? I am great. <laughs> I am better now. It is awesome. so good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, indeed. I am a fan of your music, but really um, even more so a fan of your mission and your mm -hmm. ministry mm -hmm. because you really are helping a lot of people. Amen. And this started as a little girl, yes. of course, in the choir, mm -hmm. singing with, of course, your family and mom, right? Mm -hmm. Explain. Yes. Of course, so I started out singing at the age of five years old. I come from a singing family. Mm -hmm. Every time I turned around, there was music around us, right? Uh -huh. But I was also that little girl to, who would sing to the grass as if the grass was my crowd. Right. <laughs> um, I would create a choir with my cousins. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, I was. I guess you this could say you. this was me. You yes, were in the zone course. early on. <laughs> yes, and so I just knew at a young age this was my passion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I think that the biggest thing was understanding that this is not just something that I saw, you know, mm. from my family just because they did it. And right. all. No, it was something that I knew I was supposed to do. And I just loved it. I love helping people. I remember telling God, all I want to do is give your people hope and inspire mm. them through my gifts. And, and you look at me now. It. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. So that first album drops it. It's a teenager. Yes. 15? Mm -hmm. Yes. My first uh, breakout album, which is Greater is Coming. Mm -hmm. I was 15 years oh, old. Oh, my goodness. And let me tell you yes. something. It did what we didn't expect. Like, mm. I didn't expect for it to really go around the world like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would get so many stories from people. One woman, for example, she would let me know how her son, son was falsely accused and placed mm. into prison. But she played that song in her atmosphere and mm. she said literally a couple of days after she came in contact with it um, they was giving her a call and letting her know wow. yeah her pr basically her prayers were answered so. well and I think it's important to know you are a songwriter mm -hmm. and you're very intentional even as a you know just go through the, the your catalog the body of your work you're mm -hmm. very intentional about the titles of your song mm -hmm. the themes of your music yeah. I know it is a gift from God mm -hmm. how are you weaving it though as, as you know a a decade, more than a decade later, yeah. every song, every album seems yeah. to hit and resonate. Thank you. Um, I think because I I know my assignment. I know mm. what, what I'm supposed to do, the music I'm supposed to release. Um, and I don't try to go away from that. Mm. And because that, God has sustained me in it. And so um, I believe that mine is just really getting people to see who they are in God and understanding that we deserve to have the best in life, to live like the best because he is the king you yes, know he indeed. is our father and that's what he wants for us and I try to sing that in your music. most <laughs> recent I believe God it's mm -hmm. beautiful I spent some time listening to it this weekend Thank while you. I was painting and and just was it was really moving I'm wondering how you find even though the inspiration is God because people are still expecting something different right mm -hmm. we know we can't write the same song over right, and over again right, right. how do you keep it different and keep every story mm -hmm. essentially something that comes from your heart and connects yeah. with others I think because um, it really depends on the season that I'm in mm. um, you know so? where I am like for example I would say you will win mm -hmm. um, not only first of all let me say this a lot of my songs are my story mm -hmm. um, you know and they're also you know based off of people when they tell me my situation was trying to defeat me when mm -hmm. it's supposed to be the other way around and you will win came about and then you had your bigger so many people was battling with cancer and just different issues that was bigger than them right and it which helped me to be like okay God is bigger than that you right. know so it's just it depends on the season I'm in and also when I can hear people tell me their stories and you will win that's a theme that yes. we're going to you're going to hear throughout the show. You yeah. even wrote a book. Mm -hmm. called, tell me more about the book. So I have the song, right? Mm -hmm. You will win. And the song is basically you declaring it, right? Mm -hmm. The book also gives you information on how you can win. Um, I think that is very important that we apply certain information to our lives mm. so that we don't just become these people who talk certain things, but mm -hmm. we live it. We live it. Right. And so that's what You Will Win is for. I'm teaching you how to win in your health, teaching you how to identify your wins, understanding mm. that every season your wins are not going to look the same. God allows us to win in multiple areas of our lives and just being able to embrace where you are, your journey, your celebrating season. yourself, all these things is in this book. And 
and not without some trials, of right? Course. I love yes. how when you talk about uh, the the pressing of the olive, mm -hmm. right? You Great, can't yeah. get some really good olive oil yeah. without pressing yeah. a fine olive, and there's stages of it, right? Those stages. When I hear you saying about that, it mm -hmm. sounds like there's stages that you've been through, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. at your young age. Of course, you know I tell people all the time. I wasn't an overnight success <laughs> mm -hmm. at all. My family, we literally went through our shaking, beating, and pressing of life. Um, so many different challenges in home where it challenged our faith. Like mm. you talking about not knowing how we were gonna eat and just, just different things. I'm gonna put it in a book one day. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, just really helping people to understand that that's not the end for you. Right. Um, you know, God has promised you so much greater and I know, and he's not saying don't feel your pain because we feel you pain. You have to feel it. Right. However, don't allow it to overtake you. Right. At some point, the champion in you has to arise and say, you know what? I'm going to defeat this thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's that pain that's go going to make us strongest, right? Exactly. It's not going exactly. to give us anything right. that we can't bear. Mm -hmm. It might feel like it's breaking the back, <laughs> exactly. but it's making the back It's making you so better. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. All right. When we return, Andrew Kalen is going to share more of her remarkable journey of faith, music, entrepreneurship, and the road to success. Plus, you're going to hear why she insists you will win as well. Stay with us.